My interest in space started when I was 10, and my fifth grade teacher arranged for the entire class to go down to Cape Canaveral and to watch the launch of the Discovery Shuttle. That is really when it hit me that I loved space. I thought it was fascinating. Watching a rocket lift off and leave Earth was just the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery. Flight of Discovery on man-made rising And that kind of happened. passion and fascination has stayed with me. The South Carolina Space Grant funded me for two opportunities. The first was while I was an undergraduate, I was helping with education and public outreach. And then the second was that they sent me to Goddard Space Flight Center to do lunar research. Actually, our findings at Goddard were, were pretty significant. You know, we're rewriting textbooks right now. When you look up at the moon and see these big holes in the ground, you see these big circular, you know, dark areas, I'm looking at those from another angle. I'm looking at them as topography. I'm looking at them as anomalies in the gravity and things like that. And so what I was doing was using that data to essentially spin the moon around until I could see things that were buried beneath what you see at the surface. We discovered eight new basins on the moon. So for me, Goddard definitely opened up a lot of doors. Right now, I am at the Applied Physics Lab at Johns Hopkins, and I'm working on the Messenger spacecraft at Mercury. And what I'm doing right now is essentially mapping to see what we can infer about Mercury's interior and Mercury's evolution. And I have to admit, I really, really love my job right now. <laughs> it's kind of the coolest job on Earth.